Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Fish Love and this is another pull the pin style puzzle game. So very simplistic concept that gets more and more complicated as the levels go on. But one that's very fun and we're going to be reuniting these two cute fish together so that they can continue their love so let's go ahead let's get started with level one so just basic starting off the bat with like a tutorial style level we just pull this one pin here and our fish fall together <laughs> eh? i guess that's the noise that you make when you uh run into the person that you love the most i kind of like fell really hard on her i feel like a little bit bad about that i also like that this lettering is it's like reminiscent of the like two hours later from like spongebob i love that all right, level two. So another very straightforward one, except there's two pins in the way. And there we go. They're here, they're kissing, they're hugging, whatever fish do. All right, this one, we have another route over here on the right. Obviously, we don't want to pull that pin because it will send our hero here into the void, whatever that leads down to. Instead, we want to reunite him with his love and they are happy again. So now they have introduced lava. Obviously, we don't wanna drop that on his head by undoing the pin here. We don't wanna undo this pin here because he'll go flying off to the left. So we just wanna do this and then undo this pin so he falls right into the little jar and they can live the rest of their fishy lives in that room. I'm not really sure what happens like after they reunite in these like little goal rooms here because um, you know, it doesn't look like there's much food there. I don't know. Let's get rid of this lava real quick, and then we are going to open this so that we can drop this guy straight down. And then she hopefully will slide enough. Yeah, there we go, to get into the same tank there. All right, good stuff. This one, I feel like we just have to drop the lava over to the right so it's no longer a danger. Take that pin out and then drop him directly straight down onto her. Again, he's like body slamming her every single time that he like lands on her like that. All right. They have introduced the time old mechanic of the sliding pin that goes back and forth when you click it instead of sliding in and out of the stage. So this one will actually just slide over and serve as blockage there so that the lava cannot get to our hero fish. We drop the girl fish down there and then they're both pretty happy. They look like they're both pretty happy down there. So I'm happy for them as well. So here, as long as we keep this pin on the far right in place, this should hold the lava. And so it's not much of a danger. Again, very simplistic puzzles here for the first like nine levels or eight levels, however many we just did, eight levels that we just did. Um, so that's pretty good. Here we have a tank that's full of lava here on the bottom. We obviously don't want to send them down the middle there. So I think we just have to, yeah, meet in the main chamber here. That's some good stuff. Very, very simplistic stuff. Now, level 10, hitting the double digits. They're throwing some new mechanics at us. We have this creepy little crab boy just hanging out here. He's actually not creepy at all. I don't know why I call him that. He's actually kind of cute. We'll put him over this way. I feel like he's bad for us to touch. We're going to have to cook him up here. Some fried crab legs <laughs> are on the menu tonight. And then we'll just drop our fish together. Okay, so for this one, I feel like what we need. Okay, wait, how do we get this? Because he's going to end up like over here, right? If we pull these pins out, what's going to happen here? Okay, slides over. And then, yeah, he gets stuck over there. So, and then if we do that, oh, maybe the water will get rid of the lava? No? Okay, no, nothing like that. I guess restart. What happens if we pull this out first and then pull that out? And then, is he gonna, like, launch like that's a ramp? Will this, I mean, I, we might as well try, right? Oh, yeah, okay, so he did a cool little trick to get over there and over the, uh, the lava pit. That's good. All right, we didn't have to cook our fish. Now we have big, giant, scary bomb. Drop the <laughs> poor crab, the sacrificial offer uh, to the sea gods here. All right, so now this should make this open and easy, and he'll just slowly make his way over. For once, he's not hitting his mate with, like, a ton of impact and force behind him, which is good. Oh, now we have some, like, pipes from Mario. So drop this fish down there. He goes through, and he warps out where the arrow points. So that's some good stuff. More mechanics to learn. Okay. Okay. Don't let that lava get through that pipe. Just let the fish in the water go through. Good stuff there. Here, I think what we might need to do is let the lava go past first. Yep, okay. Get out of here, lava. Nobody wants you here. We don't want that here. So then we're going to make her available 
for the fish to to drop through the pipe right on top of her there we go all right cool first 15 levels done just like that i don't know how many levels there are or if these are like randomly generated or anything like that i i genuinely do not know and now we have a choice guys obviously i have no idea which pipe leads to where i feel like the one over to the left will drop down into the tank we want but if we make the wrong decision we're gonna be uh boiling a fish alive and i'm gonna feel kind of bad about that so hopefully this was right it was not right oh no fail with the broken hearts no fish love this time around okay so we just have to drop it this way so that one that one wasn't as much of a puzzle as it was like a guess and check type scenario where it was just like try and try again Okay, so here we have a bomb, and we have a crab, and we have... Oh, no! Okay. All right, so we don't want to pull out that pin in the middle yet. We just have to drop them down first. Crab falls on the bomb. Feels bad about it, but, you know. Okay, and here we go. They're just like that. Got them through the pipes just fine. So some of those are a little bit of guesswork, and that's okay. Okay because it is just a very casual, fun, chill, easy to play game. I'm really enjoying it so far. We're gonna boil some crab again, some nice crab legs, and then there we go. Oh, I almost accidentally dropped the hero fish, the, the, the guy fish into the lava here. I didn't realize that was a sliding one. I wasn't paying attention. Barely made it in time, but they did. They were able to uh, meet up here in the top instead of falling straight into the lava. I almost doomed the poor guy. Oh my gosh. All right, so now we have a bunch of things going on all at the same time that I'm not a big fan of. So we have lava, we have a bomb, and we have a crab. Okay, that didn't get rid of the lava, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's going to boil either of the fish. So do we have to be fast here? Do we have to undo this and then drop the lava? Oh, yeah, and then the lava wipes out both of those things. But then we... Wait... Maybe we- no, wait. I don't think we have to release the lava at all. The crab's gonna move towards the bomb no matter what. Okay, I was overthinking things. I overcomplicated everything. We don't even have to release the lava. The lava was quite literally a red herring type of scenario there. Okay, so if we get the crabs together, are they gonna fall in love? No, no, eh, from them. Okay, drop the bomb, kill one, at least they die together. There they go. Level 21 has us having our fish meet up down there. Okay, and then level 22 here, same kind of-ish deal. I guess it's a timing thing. Crab doesn't make his way over to the girl fish, which is good. We were able to smush it with a bomb. So smush it with a bomb again. Drop the fish there. Boom. That one was easy. 23 was very easy. I like that. Okay. So another one with pipes. I think that maybe we want to drop... Yep. That crab down that pipe. He will fall... Onto the bomb, get him out of the way, and then boom, our fish are together, just like that. Oh gosh. All right, 25 is a little bit complicated. It's got some crisscross applesauce going on right now. I think what we need to do is pull this pin. Nope, okay, darn it. How do we do this without killing me? Oh, maybe we start at the bottom. I think maybe we start at the bottom because we can bring that crab into that bomb. Bring that crab into that bomb, and then bring that crab into that bomb, and there's no crabs to worry about for our, our boy fish there. So level 25 got a little bit complicated, but we did manage to make it through. And I think that that is actually all the time that I have for this video today, guys. But what a what a fun concept. You guys definitely get the gist. It's, like, pretty simplistic, but also very, very fun. And it's very just, like, rewarding to get the fish together. Especially when there's ones that have a few more twists. It's introducing more mechanics, more obstacles. Love the nature of this game and just sort of how it evolved as I played it. Again, I don't know how many levels there are. I don't even know if there's an end to them. They might just be randomly generated. But that's something that you guys can figure out yourselves very very fun time hopefully you had fun watching it if you did please 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 check this game out over here on lag.com and as always it was great seeing you bye bye